Welcome back. Many feel the timing is right for volunteer patrols to help protect people from hate crimes. The patrols have started after the attack of a gay couple just over a week ago. 23-year-old Brad Forkner and 25-year-old Christopher Rosevear were attacked by three of five men who followed them over the Hawthorne Bridge eight days ago. The reason there seems to be for the assault, the pair were holding hands. K2's Tim Gordon is live near the Hawthorne Bridge where this happened. And Tim, this is the second summer these patrols are happening. Right, Deb. Portland's Q Center started these patrols last year after another group of gay men was attacked. The Q patrols are out again this year in hot spots downtown to try to keep people from acting out of hate. Holding hands, a sign of love and togetherness. Fine on the Hawthorne Bridge Sunday night, but not always accepted on city streets if you're gay or lesbian. I don't want to walk around and not hold her hand. Okay, this is Portland and I'm allowed to do that. Angela and her girlfriend are concerned that violence could reach them just for being who they are. They welcome patrols to prevent that kind of trouble. Let's keep it up, can we please? Because then I feel a lot more comfortable walking around with my girlfriend. Although I gotta say, I'm not a guy. So we don't get that, that stereotype, that stigma that a lot of the guys get. Portland's entertainment district, from up on Stark down to Old Town, is a busy place and busier at night when the Q Center's volunteer patrols are out on weekends. One of the Q Patrol's founders says it works. If you're able to have a visible presence with something and somebody calls you a name, then you're going to be able to have that protection so it doesn't escalate. And that's the whole idea is to stop the escalation of that violence to getting to the point of, of fists, of knives, or whatever. I mean, as a practical matter, they're seeing things, they're calling us. And one of the other things I like about it is that it helps kind of reduce tensions out there. They're out talking to people. Portland police are happy to have the help and say they will be watching very closely to keep hate crimes from happening. Now, these uh, groups of four go out and patrol. They patrol on the weekends from 11 in the night until 2 in the morning. And they are looking for more volunteers to help them do this, these Q patrols. So get in touch with the Q Center if you want to help. Live in Southeast Portland, Tim Gordon, K2 News. Tim, thank you.